Hey everyone, welcome back. So boys and girls, we're gonna continue today talking about ladybugs. Now we've been talking about ladybugs because we learned that ladybugs are one of those things that start off as one thing, but then turn into something else. So the other day, remember when we made this together? That's right. We talked about how ladybugs start off in little eggs like this, and then five days later, out pops not a ladybug yet, but this kind of creepy looking larva. And the larva is kind of gray and brown and it looks kind of hairy and it's running all around the leaf trying to eat as many aphids as it can. Remember those aphids are those teeny tiny little bugs? Mm-hmm. Then boys and girls, the larva turns into a pupa over here. This is when it starts to grow that hard shell. And then eventually out of the pupa, comes the adult ladybug. So that's how a ladybug grows and changes. Yesterday, we read a silly story about the grouchy ladybug. Oh boy, was this ladybug grouchy. He did not want to share any of the aphids with the very friendly ladybug. So he kept flying around from animal to animal saying, hey, you wanna fight? And then the animal would say, if you insist, but the grouchy ladybug didn't really want to fight, did he? No, he was just being grouchy. So he would say, oh, you're not big enough. And he would fly away to something else. So today, boys and girls, what we're going to do is we're going to do the grouchy ladybug again. But this time I'm not going to read you the story. I have all sorts of little pictures of all the different characters in the story. And this is something fun that you can do at home sometimes, is sometimes after you read a story like The Grouchy Ladybug, sometimes it's fun to maybe to draw some pictures or you can print some pictures off of the computer and then you can practice telling the story all on your own. So that's what we're gonna do today. But I'm gonna need your help. Do you remember what the grouchy ladybug says each time it comes across a new animal? Yeah, he says, hey, you want to fight? So when we get to that part, I want you to help me out with that, okay? And then what does the late grouchy ladybug say when the animal says, if you insist? He says, oh, you're not big enough. Can you say that part with me too? That will be perfect. I can't wait. All right, are you ready? Great. So once upon a time, there was a friendly ladybug and a grouchy ladybug. They both flew over to a leaf that had lots and lots of aphids on them. The friendly ladybug started eating the aphids and looked at the grouchy ladybug and said, would you like to share? And the grouchy ladybug said, no, they're all mine. Or do you want to fight me for them? <gasps> the friendly ladybug said, if you insist. And then the grouchy ladybug said, oh, you're not big enough. And flew off. Soon the grouchy ladybug came across a yellow jacket. Remember what the grouchy ladybug's going to say? Help me out. Hey, you want to fight if you insist said the yellow jacket oh you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off soon the grouchy ladybug flew to a stag beetle hey you said the grouchy ladybug want to fight if you insist said the stag beetle Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Soon, the ladybug flew right to a praying mantis. What's the ladybug going to say? Hey, you, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. Next, the grouchly, grouchy ladybug flew into a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? 
if you insist, said the, said the lobster. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchly ladybug, and he flew off. Next, the grouchy ladybug flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the sparrow. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. Next, the grouchy ladybug flew into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the skunk. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. Next, the grouchy ladybug flew into a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist said the boa constrictor. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Next, the grouchy ladybug flew into a hyena. Oh, oh my goodness. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. Soon the grouchy ladybug flew into a gorilla. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the gorilla. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. Next the grouchy ladybug flew into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. Next, the grouchy ladybug flew into an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the elephant. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. Next, the grouchy ladybug flew into a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer, so the ladybug flew on, and he flew to the whale's flipper and said to the flipper, hey, you said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the flipper didn't answer either. So the ladybug flew on, this time to the whale's fin. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale still didn't answer. Oh, you're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. This time, the grouchy ladybug went right to the whale's tail. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a smack that the ladybug flew across the sea and across the land and landed right back on the exact same leaf with the friendly ladybug who was still eating some aphids. The friendly ladybug looked at the very tired and very hungry grouchy ladybug. There are still some aphids left. Would you like to share them? Yes, please. And the grouchy ladybug and the friendly ladybug shared the aphids together. And that's the end of our story about the grouchy ladybug. So boys and girls, sometimes you don't need to read the book after you've read it one time. You can make up your own story. You can print out some pictures, you can draw some pictures, and you know what? You don't even need to use the exact same characters. Maybe you wanna draw a picture of a squirrel 
and have the grouchy ladybug ask the squirrel if he wants to fight and see what would happen. You can take a story and you can make it your own story in so many different ways. That's the fun thing about stories is you can really do a lot with them and make them your very own stories too. So maybe that's something you want to try at home with your grown-ups. So boys and girls, I did send some activities to your grown-ups about some ladybug things that you could do. One activity, boys and girls, that you could do is this little project right here. You could ask your special grown-up to trace or to draw a leaf shape for you, and you could practice your cutting. And to make these ladybugs, all I did was take a little cup, and I dipped it in some red paint and made some circles, and then I used black paint to make the antenna and the spots. So this is an activity you could do at home with a special grown-up. I also have a math activity that you could do with your special grown-up too. Let me show you how to do it. So boys and girls, you'll have a piece of paper that looks like this. I sent this to your special grown-ups. Up here, there's a word. It says name. So what do you think you're supposed to write up there? You're supposed to write your name. So I'm going to write my name. Mrs. Thompson. Like that. You're going to write your name. If you want your special grown-up to write your name so you can trace it, that's good too. Or maybe you'd like them to write your name on a separate piece of paper so you can look at the letters and then try to write the letters on your own. That's fantastic too. So boys and girls, look at all these ladybugs. Do you see all the spots? But what do you notice about the ladybugs? Hmm, I noticed that too. They only have spots on one side. So your job, boys and girls, is to make sure that the lady ladybugs have spots on both sides. You could do this with markers or with crayons. I'm going to do it with paint. I'm going to use my fingers to make fingerprints for the dots. So what you do, do you see this one? How many dots are right there? Yeah, there's just one. So that means you're going to put one dot over on the other side. So I'm just going to dip my finger in the paint just a little and go like that. One. You want to have the same number of dots on both sides. How many dots are here? One. Two. So how many dots will I put on? You're right. Two. One. Two. What about this one? Let's count those dots. One, two, three. So how many dots am I gonna put over here? Three dots here, right? Let me get a little more paint. One, two, three. Let's do one more together, okay? We'll look at this ladybug down here. How many dots? Let's count them. Now remember when you're counting something, it's very helpful if you use that counting finger. So make sure you're touching the dots while you count them. Ready? One, two, three, four. There are four dots. So how many dots am I gonna put on? You're right, four dots. One, two, three, four. Ta-da! And you could do the rest of them too. This would be a fun little activity to do with your special grown-up and you get to practice your counting too. All right, boys and girls, I've had a lot of fun today. It was fun telling the story about the grouchy ladybug and I think it would be great if you could do one of those counting activities or make a ladybug on a leaf. I think that would be so fantastic. I will see you tomorrow where we'll start to learn more about ladybugs too. All right, you have a fantastic rest of the day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, boys and girls.